What's up, y'all? Your boy Nacho Berenstein went through a thing, didn't he? He was on, uh, what was that? ESPN Spanish Network, Deportes, and he gave the five reasons why Canelo Alvarez lost the fight. Because it's in Spanish, I'm going to translate it for y'all so y'all can understand it because, you know, that's another one of my talents. <laughs> okay. Okay. Number one, he entered the ring with no clear strategy. When Mayweather came out the corner to attack, rather than wait on the punches, that was when Alvarez's strategy ended. And there was no definitive plan. Canelo was quickly flush frustrated from the time when Mayweather's punches came at him right on target. He already didn't know what to do. Mayweather broke the attack strategy with his combination of left-right hooks and Alvarez couldn't adapt. Number two, his lack of defense. Given a minimal effective offense, perhaps it would have been good to show some defense to see if that way he could wait for a mistake by Mayweather and use it as has happened with other fighters. But because he, he was getting hammered from all these shots, the fighter doesn't know what to do. He loses hope and everything becomes a madhouse. Number three, no control in the corner. In that group, there's no control. It's like throwing more gasoline on the fire. But Mayweather ate him up. From the beginning, it was thought that Mayweather's team was better and there, and there ended up being no comparison. There, in Mayweather's corner, Everybody knows their role. And here at Alvarez Quarter, they do whatever they want to do. Number four, he failed to take risks. Not only did we not see the change in strategy, we did not see any other kind of combination beyond what they have taught him, which is left-right hook. Although if Alvarez had gone in at it, with everything, if he had really put on like a full press, maybe even he would have knocked Mayweather down. But we didn't know what could have happened because that's easy for Mayweather. When they go looking for him, he puts you on the canvas like Ricky Hatton or Juan Manuel Marquez. Number five, not prepared for Mayweather. The questions I had increased at the time, and if the opponent that you have faced is not like you have been told, and it turns out you didn't compete in defense, that you don't compete in speed, if you don't compete in effectiveness, they didn't tell you the truth. Given that Alvarez Corner created false hopes that gave us this as a result, this is not about hitting the gloves and guards. This is about seeing each factor that can change the fight for you. That's a very good point. That is a very good point. Number five made the most sense to me because I believe it's a combination of all these things in one. And Mayweather played off every bit of it. But number five really hit home because I don't believe he was prepared. Mentally, he just believed he had the will to do it and it was going to work. But let's look at Nacho Beresting's card in this. He wants to train Canelo. That's what this is all about. And what... Oh, you know, what you can do with besmirch someone's accomplishments and what they did to get to the point because they don't have you as a trainer. So go ahead and besmirch the corner and say they didn't know what they were doing and do all these things because you want to train Canelo. You know, that's a big payday. So they're eating good right now. And 
you know, hey, don't know what you're getting, but you know that cake is a lot bigger than the Marquez cake. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs>